Well, many people are excited about coming down to Ocean City this summer for vacation. There is something you need to know when it comes to your favorite restaurant or establishment that you like to go to. They are experiencing a staffing shortage here that is much worse than other parts of the country. It's a very slow process. So For Ocean most... City Mayor Rick Meehan, while he's excited to kick off what could be a record year in his town, he's also concerned about businesses who are understaffed, especially restaurants and hotels. Most all, if not all, of our businesses are shorthanded. You know, we are suffering from employee shortages. So all our businesses are doing everything they can. They're ready to welcome everybody. They want to give everybody the best service possible. But we are asking everybody just to have a little bit of patience. The reason for the worker shortage is twofold. First, employees who are on unemployment are making the same, if not more, than they would returning to work. And secondly, because of COVID, there were major delays with the J-1 visa program, which allows foreign students to come to the U.S. to work and study. Normally, up to 6,000 students come to Ocean City annually. Last year, there were none. And this year, there could be fewer than 1,000. Although things have felt like they return to normal for the general public, you know, or, or at least trending in that direction, you know, unless something changes quickly, it's going to be a very long summer for all the people in hospitality down here because we're extremely short staffed. About a month ago, we spoke with Garvey Heiderman, owner of the Hobbit restaurant. He's currently dealing with staffing issues of his own. He told us his aren't nearly as bad as some of his friends who also are in the hospitality industry. Yes, I think everybody has the potential to have a record year, but it's you know only as much business as they can provide to, to meet the demand. So what can be done to help this employment issue? Some people were deciding to stay home instead of coming back to work, and that's really impacted Ocean City. Along with Governor Hogan told 11 News while there isn't much the state can do about the J-1 visas, there are new requirements in place and being looked at that should help people get back to work. We took action already uh, a week or two ago about uh, in instituting the work search requirements, which is making people actively look for a job or they don't get their benefits and we're, we're considering uh, you know what we can do to uh, perhaps uh, you know get to a cutoff point on the extended benefits. So if you're heading down the ocean this summer just remember you're not only going to need your sunscreen your cooler and your beach umbrella you're also going to need your patience. In Ocean City I'm Lowell Melser WBAL TV 11 News.